good morning and it is the following day the morrow has finally arrived and when i say good morning it's actually half past 11 now um, and uh, we've uh, enjoyed a cracking breakfast this morning procured by rick i'll show you that say what you think yeah so we're now on our way to the cane gorms according to the uh, statistics it's a two-hour drive so we should be there in, well, two hours. And when we get there, we hope to ride along the Flelecleer. Well, there's a train that goes up the, the hill. <laughs> it's quite special. It's the same one. It's supposed to be the same one like a salt burn, I think, powered by water. But uh, we'll, we'll, we'll soon see. Yeah. And we're hoping to get some um, some shots from the top of the Cairngorms. Some nice landscapes, as there is. Weather's quite good today, and it's a little bit dramatic, but some nice clouds. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll turn this round, and you'll see on route. When it flips round, there we go. So we've got some nice clouds kicking about. Bits of light keeps coming out, little specks of rain. So hopefully we should get something nice with uh, lots of layers and drama and mountain tops. And... Yeah. Um, as regards wildlife, we've... Uh, seen plenty of pigeons and sheep as yet we have been assured there are beavers and otters near where we are but we haven't seen it yet that might be a special trip if all goes well today we shall venture further afield to a place to photograph the pink a pink house which i've seen photographed by another uh, vlogger uh, time pending but if we do that, it'll save us coming on this way again to get there because you've got to come on this way. So, with that in mind, we're going to carry on with our journey. And I'll probably, we might stop off on the way if we see something interesting. If we do, we'll, uh, I'll let you know. But if we don't, it's onwards to the Cairngorms. What do you say, Rick? Looking forward to the Cairngorms. Right, keep your eye on the road. And the particular. <laughs> keep your eye on the road. Don't be distracted. Right, so if there's nothing in between, we'll see you when we get to the Cairngorms. Bye for now. Well, just found my dead cat. Hang on. Just found my dead cat. <laughs> well, we're nearly where we want to be. Um, we haven't stopped on the way, we've struggled all the way through. And unfortunately, we're just on the outskirts of Aviemore and it's decided to turn this round. It's decided to take a turn for the worse. Nice clouds over there, if we can get them. Um, so it's decided to rain. We've got nice light, as you can see over there, nice clouds, a lot of drama. Hopefully get some good photography and we won't be letting the weather put us off. Isn't that right Rick? We will not be beaten. We won't. Might not be many photographs. In fact I'm going to work on quality today rather than quantity. So hopefully. I don't see the clouds over there. Spike man. Well there's Rick driving. Hello there, folks. Yeah. yeah, I can't quite show it on here, but hopefully we'll get some great photographs. Um, if they're not great and they're bad, I'll still show you them anyway. I'm not going to come all this way and not take any. Uh, right, so not long before we get where we're going and uh, ascend the hill. See you later. Right, well, I had to come back just to show you these clouds because they're, they're really fantastic at the moment. Hopefully the train isn't short when we get there, but looking forward to getting up, up high and foot, get some photographs like this. Um, what do you think, Rick? 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 Oh, for God's sake, man, you're driving. Oh, yeah, right. Oh, what do you reckon to, to some good photographs? Absolutely. Yes, these the... Yeah. yeah get, get yourself... Dramaticness. Yeah, get yourself back to sleep. I'll wake you up when we're there. Oh, you know. All right. Yeah, so hopefully we're going to get there safely. Um, 
it shouldn't be too long now, I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully all these clouds don't disappear. We'll see. Bye for now. Okay, well, we've taken the funicular to the top of the Cairngorms. Um, right at the top, I think it's a three... How many metres is it? It's a, I forget how many metres now, about a thousand metres up. So let's go and take in the view. We've certainly chose a day for it. Put my hood up. Uh, there we go. What a spectacular view we have today. We've looked all the camera gear up. You can see a couple of posts over there. That's about it really. What do you reckon to the view, Rick? I think we've missed this. <laughs> we've mistimed this badly, haven't we? Missed. <laughs> <laughs> Not to worry. Not to worry. It might be better around this corner here. Let's have a look. Let's judge all the, judge all the dripping water. Oh, I've got, some, I've got something over here. Here we have... Some rubbish. And if we look over here, just oh, can you hear me? see the Mr. Cotton Creekers walking down as they venture off into the distance. I don't even think I'm going to bother getting my camera out to be honest. I might do. See if I can do something with these posts that are in the in the mist, haunting me in the mist. As they disappear down the mountainside, although I don't know. It's getting the angle. If I do anything, you'll see it. If I don't, you won't. Until the next video. Right, bye for now. Fast as we walked in off the viewing gallery to order a coffee, as soon as we ordered a coffee, the skies cleared and the views were spectacular. We've drowned our coffee as quick as we can, dashed out, and the clouds have come down again. It's as if it knows me and Rick are here. So I'm going to stand out here for a few minutes because it changes. Well, some blue sky there, it changes as quickly as a pole dancer falls off a pole. So we're gonna hang on and hopefully we'll get some nice shots to show you. Looking down towards Glenmore, I believe. Glenmore, yeah. And Glenmore Lock. It's starting to creep a little bit there, getting bits of light hitting the fence. In fact, I'm gonna try and photograph that. You've got the mist, dark and bright clouds, and some light hitting the fence. So I'm gonna sign off now. Take a few photographs and I hope you'll see them shortly. Bye now. Rick. I'm not to be honest. Well that waitress wasn't too bad. <laughs> no but view wise, for photography wise, I find I'm just concentrating on the posts. Yep, and the pulleys are there. Yeah, apart from that it's a nice view but nothing really worth photographing is it? No, I mean at the bottom of that lake there, it's just ten below. Yeah. No bones.
Well, hello, back again. We've left the Cairn Corms, um, we've travelled about an hour north, passing Vinette, and we're at a place called Loch Glass to photograph this pink house I've seen before. Well, not that I've physically seen, I've seen on a video, and then I researched it and found it on some. Uh, well, Google Images and stuff. I've got about, according to the, what people have said, I've got about a mile and a half walk to do. Rick's a little bit behind me, he's, he's going to his own pace, but he doesn't mind me carrying on. Um, I don't know if I can do a mile and a half, to be honest. But we'll soon find out. I haven't done ten yards, I'm out of breath already. I've got too much stuff in my bag, but I'm worried in case I get there. And I think, oh, I wish I brought that. But there you go. So I'm going to carry on along this little trek um, and find out what's happened. To be honest, on this trip we've come on the uh, eastern side and we've, we've both found it a little disappointing scenery wise. Um, considering as far as in finesse, there doesn't seem to be much highlands or much to see on the roads, which is a shame. So I think next time it's definitely going to be on the western side. Glenity, Glencore, all places like that. Pop up around the sky, things like that. Uh, but anyway, we'll see. Hopefully I'll get in this house soon. Time is just right because the light's just nice at the moment. Sun's setting, so I should get some nice colours instead of the glare. At least it's stopped raining for now. Let's not say it won't start again because it has been. So I've got some waterproof trousers with me. Um sail is coming down here opposite me at the moment. So uh, actually when he's gone past desperate for a wee. When at least gone past and I'll have one. I'll say hello to him as he goes past. There you go in two seconds. Hey right there. You alright? There you go. A happy cyclist. Right, so he's, he's gone well past, I'm going to have to have a wee, if you excuse me. Wee! Well, what did you expect? Anyway, I'm going to crack on with this hike. I think I've done 50 metres for a while to go yet. And I'll catch you when I'm at the, the lock. See you later. Well, ladies and gentlemen, after a bit of a trek, after being in my bucket list for a few years now, I finally see it. The pink house. Let me show you. I don't know if you can see it on this, it's a, it's a little bit far away. So I'm going to walk up to it. Looks like I've got the whole place to myself. And this is Lock Glass. Well, I'll see that's not Lock Glass, that's trees. But the water is Lock Glass. It isn't in fact glass, it's water. It's called Lock Glass. I don't know why. I'm not bothered really. But I'm going to carry on and see Rock and Deer with this pink house. Might paint it for them. Don't know. But, uh, yeah, very excited. Quite excited, really. I don't know why. I think it's because I've seen it for a long time and wanted to get here. And now I've got here, it, uh, it hasn't disappointed, to be honest. So I've got to work out some compositions. I've got some nice, some nice inlets in and out. Um, in fact, some nice highlands behind it, got some nice dark clouds, the lights hit and miss in and out, so I might get some good stuff here. Um, where to start? I mean, the first thing is, you don't just suddenly start taking photographs, you look around you first, find out what you're going to do, which is what I'm looking for now. I suppose, before I get to it, I've got a bit of a composition here. I don't know. What do you think? Could be. It could be. Um, 
my aim on this trip yeah my aim on this trip wasn't to take unnecessary photographs just wanting um, I think I might take a few here though just to hopefully get the right one and if there's any that turn out any good you will be seeing them very shortly um, I don't know where Rick is No, I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna go down the oh my hat! Hang on, I've got to retrieve my hat. Ooh, I bought that in New York a few years ago. And it's a bit bruised and battered, but I like it. And it uh, I was gonna say it fits in my head really well, but it's just blown off there. So I may have to remove it and feel the chill wind. The Eastern Scottish Highlands, although they're not that high, really, I say big hills. Um, anyway, I'm plodding on towards a pink house. I haven't stopped for a, uh, a competition yet. Uh, I, I might show you what I'm doing when I get there. See you later. Right, so I'm not quite there yet, but I've spotted this for my first composition. I think it's going to be handheld because this, this thing's blowing in the, in the wind. Still on a Bob Dylan, um, and I'll show you. Just, just might be a nice little touch. I don't know. I'm just checking for snakes in this long grass, but I've got in front of me pink flower or some pink flowers. So I mean, as you can see, they're blowing in the wind a little bit. So I'm hoping I do a fast shutter speed. I can get that and the pink house in the background. Both won't be sharp, but uh, it might be nice. It might not. Um, and we'll see how it goes. If it's any good, you'll see it now. Video front. Looks like I've been taking photographs on this DJMI instead of taking videos. So I don't know what you've missed and I can't remember what I've said. However, um, I think I filled my boots with this bit here. Well, not filled my boots. Um, I don't know why I said that somebody else's phrase here, but uh, no, I think I've got I think I've got what I want here. Got a long drive back. Uh, we may say something on the way back. So I'll walk back and cast. Well, now I've walked back now. <sighs> I'm tired walking here. Now I'm going to walk all the way back. Never mind. So, yeah, so I'm going to walk back, catch up with Rick, and then we've got about a three, uh, three hour, three hour, three, yeah, about three and a half hour drive back to where we're staying. So, hopefully, shouldn't take that long. Might take three and a half hours. If it doesn't, it'll take three and a half hours. We'll see. And there we go. So, I'll, uh, Anyway, so that's off my bucket list. I've done that. It'd be nice if the sun was setting a bit more, but never mind. Or autumn colours. We can't have everything. I'm here, that's the main thing. Walk back over to there and catch up with Mr. Reed. Um, I'm going to keep the camera around me neck in case I see anything. Otherwise, I hope you enjoy, oh guys, hope you enjoy the photos and then we'll see what tomorrow brings. Thank you and bye for now.